Let me present to you the most spectacular view and light in the world. Look at that! Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Norway. I had this dream to come to Lofoten for a long time and finally I got here. But still, I'm not there uh, yet, I'm not in my final destination. And I've been traveling the whole day and our last flight to Leknes has been cancelled. We have been sitting in airport for six hours and just to hear that our flight has been cancelled. And then I got a replacement flight for two days from now, which of course won't work for me. And uh, I actually come with a, uh, with a group of photographers, so we are on a workshop. Now we gonna go to another city tomorrow morning and from there we will drive to Legnes. So it's gonna be a, quite a journey, but uh, it's gonna be fun as well. The first day of trip to Lufaton is over now and it was a good day I would say. <clears throat> Despite that we we have been traveling for more than 24 hours and when we arrived it was uh, late and we missed the sunrise. So in general it was a bit of a hectic and uh, frustrating <laughs> trip. Um, trip that should take uh, like six hours took 26 hours but that's part of the fun and uh, we are here now that's great and as soon as I came out of the airport uh, I told my friend that I was talking to my friend and suddenly I looked up and the mountain was right in front of me like uh, right into my face <laughs> I took a picture while we are waiting for the car to arrive uh, but then when we uh, were driving uh, we had the most epic sunrise ever it was very beautiful very nice light well we didn't have time to stop um, and take pictures unfortunately i just uh, took some pictures with my phone and while we are uh, when we arrived here after breakfast and checking into the hotel we went out and the whole day basically was like uh, 15 minutes here 15 minutes there so we, I didn't have time to to actually uh, record any video and vlog that's why I'm doing this right now uh, with you at, in the hotel uh, we went to a beach for the first um, location just to warm up a little bit and uh, get to the mood of photography uh, sort of to speak I managed to take uh, a couple of pictures and uh, they are okay they are not fantastic uh, I played a little bit with the sand pattern well it's again it's not the one that I expected uh, but um, uh, but that was like a warm-up basically then we went to uh, our second location uh, which was the 
iconic place in Lofoton. One is that fishing houses and the mountain behind this. So I really, really wanted to take a picture of this place to have uh, a version of it for myself uh, because I love uh, this, uh, this photo and I've seen it uh, so many times. Everyone got to the uh, uh, Lofoton have a version of this. And also this yellow house in front of this pointy mountain that also I took a version of it, uh, which I'm pleased with. Also, I took this panorama that uh, from the same location, the mountains behind that yellow house. So here again, we had only 15 minutes and didn't have time to uh, to record any videos. Then we went to another location. This is this road that goes into the mountains. And uh, this is a nice place as well. When we arrived there, it, the mountain wasn't clear at all. It was completely lost in the, in the cloud and the snow. How are you doing? <laughs> I'm good. How are you? I'm good. Is that like an intelligence so it moves with me or no? Uh, it can do that. <laughs> <laughs> but not now. <laughs> This is a very nice place. Uh, this ice pattern and the small lake or water, whatever it is, and the background uh, mountain. Ah, it's not a big mountain, it's just a hill, I guess. But in all in all, it's a nice composition. This mountain range behind us, which looks super cool. I'm gonna take a picture of that now. The composition here is very simple. Of course, we put the road right in the middle and the mountain range in, uh, in the background. Uh, I am a little bit concerned about these three here. We might, it might be a little bit of a problem on balancing the image. Might work as well because this side, the mountain is very big and dominant. I don't know. I took one picture without that tree. Then we went to another location, our final location, that there I had a little bit more time and I could record uh, some video that you're gonna see now. We came to another location, it's a beach and uh, we are taking picture, I'm taking picture of this uh, mountain in the background and the ocean in the foreground. Everyone else went down to the beach itself, uh, but I decided to come over this this road in this part a bit higher. The reason is that this road here in the foreground, we put it here to balance in the image a little bit, and uh, now and then these waves come and crash into it, and I felt that this is a good uh, subject to have in the foreground. The background mountain it's great and then we have this kind of curved line of the water that goes towards the mountain. I don't have the full curve here, but uh, it's this we have some layers. I have few challenging here. As you can see, it's very dark now and I'm up to ISO 800 already. Uh, and I thought, um, because this scene is quite far away, I can't get away with a four. I took a picture with the focus on the mountain. I focus on this rock, foreground rock, and I taking several pictures when the uh, wave hits. And I'm using the shutter release for that. So whenever the wave comes, I press the shutter and take a picture. That's it. And then I'm gonna see if I can move a little bit. I tried to go a little bit back and forth to balance my composition, but I'm not sure.
that's uh, conclude the first day in Lofoton. If you have watching this video so far and are still with me, um, thank you so much and uh, I appreciate it. Please give it a thumbs up. If you are not subscribed to the channel, please do. And yeah, let's continue the next part and this trip is just getting started. Until next video, next week, continuing uh, exploring Lofaton, beautiful, amazing Lofaton. Take care and bye.